we'll stop right there so you get the the idea behind the beat so in my mind um i knew that i wanted to make a dirty south beat so i started with the 808 kit because those instruments as far as the drums those are the ones that are you know most commonly used so if i just solo these drums and play these alone we can break down what instruments are used or what instruments I use. Let me mute everything on this second mixer here. So let's just listen to these drums alone. Alright, what we have is the kick, and honestly, that's not even the 808 kick. That's just the kick that sounds compressed and filtered, and it was appropriate for what I was creating. We have the Notorious 808 clap. You can find very high quality claps floating around on the internet. We have our open hat there. And that's a synth sound that I sampled from I don't know where. I couldn't tell you where I got that from. You know what? Actually, I think that sound is from HHS. I think it's called HHS Blogspot or something like that. Hip Hop. Hip Hop ST Blogspot, I, I believe. They have sample packs on there. And I think that that's the sound off of the Young, Young Jeezy sample kit, if I'm correct. That's the gunshot that I use. It's a hey sound. I didn't use those two. Um, that's just a perk. A percussion sound. I don't even know what the hell that is. But we'll call it a percussion sound. And then we got another uh, rim shot there. So mainly that's it. Those sounds are sounds that are commonly used in Dirty South music. If you listen to a Young Jeezy track, if you listen to an artist from Atlanta, if you listen to one of their tracks, this is it. For those of you that are wondering what the secret is to creating those types of beats, the secret is active listening. The secret is to remake those beats. And if you can remake those beats and you know what instruments they're using in those beats, and you can use those instruments to create your own unique beat. So that's mainly the secret. Um, Another uh, another thing, people are using a lot of saws. As far as, you know, I had people asking me what instruments people are using. Those synth sounds that you're using, you may want to try a saw. And when I say a saw, mainly what you need to do is learn different wave files. Um, in Dirty South music, they use a lot of sub basses. Um, and I think I used a sub in this one. Yep, I did. I used a subtractor here. And if I play this... Or to meet it at the top. Um, let me play this. But it has a unique sound. It has that that dirty south sound. Um, let me find it on the mixer so that we can unsolo it. Let's see horn, snare, brass, da da da, bass line. So that's the bass line. It's the Dirty South bass line, and it's a sub. And let's play the beat so that you can hear it in the beat. Alright, so you heard the sub. That's basically it. So those instruments, another thing to listen to is the mark string is commonly used I'm just gonna call it a mark string it might not be Marketo strings but that's what it sounds like those are just instruments that are commonly used I mean that's that's the main secret is creating recreating beats that are out now just to learn the sounds um, the scents that are being used in Dirty South are a lot of saw scents that those are just synths that have the saw waveform. If you don't know what that is, you need to get on Google and find out what that is. Um, 808 kit, there are a lot of horns being used. Uh, in this song, I'm gonna play the horns that I used. And actually, you haven't heard the, um, you haven't heard this part, because I don't know whether I want to keep it, it's not mixed in, but I'm gonna play it anyway. <laughs>
up. So mainly um, what I was doing there by moving the volume up and down was trying to just mix certain instruments in to let them sound better together. Um, and we'll get into a mixing tutorial, of course. But um, I don't know. There, there are really no secrets when it comes to creating music of, of different genre types. If you want to create an East Coast music, like an East Coast sample track, you have to listen to what they're doing with those sampling tracks and grasp the concept. I'm not saying bite off of other producers, but you just have to grasp the concept of um, you know what they're doing, um, what instruments they're using, and so forth. Um, hopefully this is helpful to you. This is, like I said, really not a beat tutorial. It's more of a lecture, but I just want to you know share the knowledge that I have with you. And hopefully it, it, it's helpful. Um, with Dirty South Music, for snare rolls, and I know I've gone over this a million times, but um, I do use the arpeggiator. And as you can see, we have a snare roll in this song. We have it several times. And like I said, that's typical of Southern, southern music. There are a lot of snare rolls, uh, sub basses. Um, 808 kit if you want to create a Dirty South song and actually I challenge the users to my site if I, I challenge each and every one of you to create a Dirty South song and use the instruments that I'm talking about use the 808 kit use a saw synth or any instrument with the saw waveform try a sub bass um, if you have a reason, use the subtractor. Try using the subtractor and use an 808 kit. And let's see what you come up with. Um, you might even want to throw some samples in there. Like, I don't know if you heard in this, but I have a hey, a hey sample. Like, you're going, hey, hey, hey. But yeah, I got that in the background. You might want to do that too. Um, sometimes it's not a bad idea to even something else that I experimented with this song. And like I said, this wasn't a completed song, it was just something that I was playing with here. Something else that I had experimented with was a crowd noise. The volume right now is all the way down, but I'm going to play that and I'm going to increase the volume on the crowd just so you can get an idea of how effects can actually help out your your production. Uh, for example, you may add a waterfall in your song. You may add a wind blowing or a rainfall or something like that. And that can actually paint the picture for your song that you're trying to, trying to present. You may... You may want a dark song and having gunshots in the song or having, um, uh, I don't know, having some goblins or something in the background. I don't know. You get the point. But um, let me play this and show you what I'm talking about. So I don't know, the crowd may have added or it may have subtracted from the beat, but um, to me, I mean, I may, for that beat, I'd find a crowd that was maybe a little more hype, um, but hopefully you get the picture. You, you can create an image in people's brain as a music producer through little things like that, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want people to be able to feel your beats. You don't want people to just listen to your music and your music sound like it was created you know on a computer or just created music you want people to be able to imagine something when they hear your music you want them to feel your music so that's basically it I know there wasn't a lot of going a lot you know a lot of physical scene going on in this tutorial or this video excuse me but um, hopefully you learned a lot from it it's more like a lecture than a video tutorial but anyway hit me up on my forum if you have any other questions